April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. According to a local nonprofit organization, promises to kids each week an average of 400 investigations into alleged child abuse and neglect are assigned in San Diego County. A number of children in these cases eventually find themselves in the foster care system where promises to kids through its various programs provides them with hope for a better future. The organization is working to raise awareness of this important issue through its Pinwheels for Prevention fundraiser. Joining us on the Kogo News Live line to tell us more about it, Tanya Tarosian, the CEO of Promises to Kids. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us on. So tell us a little bit about Pinwheels for Prevention. Yes, it's a really um, great way to, to get involved in our community and show support for those who um, don't always have the best circumstances and unfortunately are facing the impacts of child abuse. So what we're doing is we're partnering with um, the the county of San Diego, and we are raising awareness by uh, planting a pinwheel garden down at the county administration center um, toward the end of the month. Uh, the pinwheel garden uh, is going to be comprised of pinwheels that you um, or anybody in our community can purchase on our website for either $25 um, or you could get a family of pinwheels um, and name them in honor of your own children, maybe those that have cared for you uh, when you were a child, and we'll put their name on it and plant that um, on the county administration lawn, administration lawn. Now, before we forget, what is that website? It is promises the number two kids dot org. Promises to kids.org. All right. Are we seeing more cases of child abuse and neglect, or, or what are the numbers looking like? Yeah, the numbers are not looking like they're increasing um, in terms of uh, investigations of child abuse. But what is happening is that we're able to, the county actually is the one who does all of the investigations and, and determinations. But what they do is they're able to partner with organizations to keep children in safe communities with additional supports in the home. So there's fewer kids in foster care, um, but there is still um, uh, community reports of child abuse at about steady rate. I mean, is there any idea of what causes this sort of thing to happen? Um, child abuse can be a number of uh, results. And one could be, you know, uh, parental stress. There's a lot of uh, you see sometimes community response to stress, and, and obviously that, that a stressor can, can be that. But also it's a lack sometimes of resources. Um, you know, you're not yourself having the uh, parenting coping skills um, that you need to deal with some of uh, the challenges of being a parent. Are these kids usually able to thrive once they get out of these situations? Yes, definitely. Once once there's support, there's therapeutic intervention. And the parents, once there's support to the parents sometimes, given some parenting classes, given some other resources, a lot of times there's substance abuse that's involved in these cases, the majority of which have some substance abuse um, issues. And so if those can get um, identified and, and addressed, then yes, children can thrive again. Tanya, give us that website one more time. Sure, it's promises the number two kids.org. Beautiful. And it's pinwheels for prevention. So go on the website, donate, and um, get those pinwheels blowing in the wind, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Tanya Tarosian, CEO of Promises Two Kids, the number two. Thank you so much, Tanya. Sure. Thank you for your time.